हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू माय चैनल माइसेल पराग जांबुलकर अप टिल नाउ वी हैव सीन हाउ टू रन एसओक्यूएल क्वेरीज इन सेल्फोर्स डेवलपर ऑर्ग इन दिस वीडियो वी विल सी हाउ टू रन एसओक्यूएल क्वेरीज इन अपेक्स प्रोग्रामिंग लैंग्वेज इफ यू नो जावा प्रोग्रामिंग लैंग्वेज सो इन जावा प्रोग्रामिंग लैंग्वेज वी हैव टू यूज जेडीबीसी लाइब्रेरीज और जेडीबीसी एपीआई एंड बाय यूजिंग जेडीबीसी एपीआई वी हैव टू फर्स्ट कनेक्ट विद द डेटाबेस फॉर दैट वी हैव टू यूज ड्राइवर सो ऑल दोस थिंग्स वी हैव टू डू इन जावा प्रोग्रामिंग लैंग्वेज बट इन सेल्फोर्स in apex programming language to work with database is very simple in this video we will see how to run this sql queries in apex programming language so see here i have logged in to my selfos developer all we'll go to developer console first i will show how to run sql query by using query editor after that i will show how to run same query in apex programming language so see we'll open one object so suppose i am opening student okay so student underscore underscore c dot obj why this underscore underscore c because it is a custom object we have created this object that's why it is underscore underscore c okay we'll open this now see some fields will select suppose we are selecting name roll number and department so by pressing control button i have selected this now see i will click on query so we got our query if you want we can change this query or we can edit this query now we'll execute this query and for that we have to click on execute button okay so here we got this result right name roll number and department right now same query will run in apex programming language so i am copying this by control c we'll go to debug we'll open anonymous window so we'll maximize it okay so i am making that screen bigger now see so this is our query right we got this query from the query editor we can edit this or we can write our own query this is our choice now see in apex programming language running this query is very simple so how to run this query we have to enclose this query in square bracket see we have to enclose this query in square bracket like this okay as it is a apex programming language statement will put semicolon here now see by this will execute this query and will get the result right in java programming language we save that result in result set object right in apex programming language we have to save this result in list so this query when we mention in square bracket it returns a list so see this result will save in one list okay so we'll create one list object suppose i am giving name records is equal to now see for list we have to mention generic type right so what kind of data that is returned by this query so it is a record of table this right it is a record of table student underscore underscore c right so what we have to do we have to mention type here type of record and what is the type of record that is table name right so this query will return record of type this table this query will return records and that records will be of type student underscore underscore c that is the object name right or table name so by this we will get records in list variable records okay this is the variable name we can change it okay so if you want any other name so that we can give now see we will print this records on screen so for that we will use enhance for loop so how to use enhance for loop so see we will get records and all those records are saved in this variable right so i am copying this i am putting here so what we will do we will fetch records from this variable records right so in this list all records will be there now see record by record we will fetch right so we will get record again this is variable only right we can change the name and this record is of type this right this is the object name so i will mention this now see what is the meaning of this we are creating one variable record of type this object name in each iteration we will get record from this list right this list what list that we have mentioned here in first iteration first record will get saved in this variable in second iteration second record will get saved in this variable in third iteration third record will get saved in this variable right now see we will print this values on the screen so how we can print so again we will use system dot debug like this now see we want to print these values on the screen suppose we want to print name and roll number so how we can print 
so see i am putting some message on the screen so name so i am putting it in single quote so that will be considered as a string okay then name right this field name name but see how we can access that value name by using this variable so see how i can mention here record dot and this field name name keep in mind these are the field names row number underscore c these are the field names not field labels these are the field names and this is object api name keep in mind this is object api name and these are the field names and why there is underscore underscore c because these are the custom fields and in name there is no underscore underscore c because this is standard field that is given by the self force and this is our custom object right that's why there is underscore underscore c now see how we are accessing these values by dot operator right this record variable this record variable dot and this name that is a field name right then concatenation plus next we will print roll number right so some message i will put here roll number like this plus and this right so we will mention record dot and this name so i am copying here here i am pasting it so likewise we are printing name and we are printing roll number so see we will run our query we will select debug only and here we got the result right name roll number name roll number name roll number so in this way we can run a sql query in apex programming language so see here we have used a list right same thing we can do by using map how to get data in map that we will see so look at this we are mentioning this query in a square bracket right see in square bracket we are putting this query right at the end we are putting semicolon right now see instead of list we will use map right map we will create a variable of map right so we will give some name records map is equal to now see map saves value in the form of key value pair right there are two things one is value of type this and another will be key right so key we will mention by the id and value value will be of type this likewise we will mention right so what we have done we have created one variable of type map it has two things key and value right so key we have mentioned by using id and this will be value right then our query that we have mentioned in square bracket right if you run this we will check what will happen. So see we are getting one error. Illegal assignment form list to map. Why we are getting error like this? So see this query when we are mentioning in square bracket it will return list. Here you can see it is returning list. But we are assigning here to map. Right. That's why what we have to do. We have to accept list but we have to convert it to map. So see here what we can mention. New map and in round bracket we will mention this query so see so first query we have mentioned in square bracket and that complete thing right query within square bracket that we have mentioned in round bracket like this now see we will print values on the screen by using enhance for loop so see same for loop i am copying here we will paste it now see we are creating one variable record up type this right this is the object name now see in previous case we have mentioned records right so that was variable of type list but now we have to use a record map right we have to use the record map here we are using map right but in map we have key value pair right key value key value pair and records will be values right this is key and this is value so that's why we have to call one function values like this so see this map variable that we have mentioned here then we are calling values function and by this it will returns records right so first record that will get assigned to this record variable that will print in next iteration second record will be fetched and that will get assigned to this variable and that we will print in third iteration third record will get fetched and that will assign to record variable and that will print on the screen right now remaining thing will be same now we will run this let us see execute okay so we got one error okay so here we have to mention 
types of key and values. Okay. So, here we will mention it. Okay. Now, see, again we will execute our query. Okay. No compilation error. We will select this checkbox, debug only. Now, see, this result we got from list and remaining part we got from the map. Right. So, in this way, we can fetch values by using list and we can fetch values by using map. Right. So, in this way, we can execute a SQL query in Apex programming language. So, friends, I hope you like this video. If yes, then click on like, subscribe to the channel and don't forget to press the bell icon so that you will get notification of my next video. So, stay connected. Thank you.